and welcome back here in Florence, South Carolina. Here is the Francis Marion University Patriots are set to host the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors here in their second time meeting up this season in Conference Carolinas. The last time these two teams faced off was back at Southern Wesleyan's place uh, at the end of December, right before Christmas break for these students, and it was a, a brutal loss for the Patriots, uh, dropping a Conference Carolinas contest 38 to 75 against the Warriors. I'm Alex Wober. Thank you for tuning in to the Sports Network and I will be guiding you guys tonight as the Patriots are set to face off against the Warriors here at the Smith University Center. Couple of other notes for this Patriots Warriors game set to start here momentarily. A player for the Warriors who is on pace to set a record for himself in his career. That's Taja Dunlap of the Warriors who is 33 points shy of hitting 1,000 career points. He's at 967 right now, so I could do the math for you all at home. But he is just in need of 33 points to hit that accolade in his career. Another thing with the last couple of games we have been questioning the format of the Conference Carolinas basketball championship tournament and we have a little bit more clarification for you on that now. Uh, that would be 10 teams making it into the tournament. The 8 and 9 seed would sort of play a play-in game to play the 5 seed. Uh, as well as the 7 and the 10 seed would face off, and the winner of that game would play against the 6 seed. Uh, one and two seeds in Conference Carolinas would get uh, a double bye in sort of a way where they would only have to play uh, the quarterfinals game, and if they won that, they would head on to the semifinals and then, then to the championship. So a little bit of clarification on the Conference Carolinas tournament format uh, for Francis Marion University, who is in their first season. Uh, in Conference Carolinas. A couple of headlines as well for the Patriots this week besides basketball. The Patriots baseball team will open its season this weekend with a three-game home series against Limestone University. Game times are 4 p.m. on Friday and 1 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. The FMU softball team will open its season this weekend hosting Westchester University for a doubleheader on Saturday at 1 p.m. and USC Aiken for a twin bill on Sunday at 1 p.m. The Francis Marion men's and women's tennis teams will also host the Reigns Company City of Florence Invitational Tournament Friday and Saturday at the Dr. Eddie Floyd Florence Tennis Center. The Patriot men will play nationally ranked Lander University on Friday at 2 p.m. and will play on Saturday at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. The FMU women will open the Newberry College on Friday at 4 p.m. and will play on Saturday at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. As we are set here to announce the starting lineups, we'll start first with the Warriors of Southern Wesleyan University. At guard, a 5'10 sophomore from Columbia, South Carolina, Taja Dunlap. At guard, a senior 6'2 from Decula, Georgia. Number two, Arusha Hunter. At forward, a 6'7 senior from Fort Myers, Florida, number 11, Hunter Davis. At guard, a 6'2 senior from Manchester, Georgia, number 13, Demarcus Addy. And finishing off the Warriors lineup, a forward senior, 6'7 from Hardyville, South Carolina, number 35, Trenard Farrell. And now we watch the Patriots hype video here as they are set to announce the starting lineup here. This would be the 25th time between these two programs meeting up. FMU leads the all-time series with 14 wins and 10 losses. 
Currently, right now, Southern Wesleyan sits at number four, or excuse me, number three in the men's basketball standings at eight and three in the conference. And to start off the Patriots lineup, a guard, junior 6'2", from Tallahassee, Florida, number one, Tion Rollins. At guard, a 6'1 freshman from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, number four, Jose Benitez. At guard, a 6'2 junior from Columbia, South Carolina, number 12, Matthew Lee. At forward, a 6'8 freshman from Sanford, Florida, number 15, Jonah Pierce. And rounding out the Patriots starting lineup, a freshman at forward, 6'7 from Sao Paulo, Brazil, number 34, Nick Silva. And last game the Patriots had here at the Smith University Center was on Saturday against Erskine College. And that would end up being the Patriots' first ever home Conference Carolinas win as they have only been in the Conference Carolinas for just this season now. Previously, they played in the Peach Belt Conference. But Southern Wesleyan is no stranger to these Patriots as we're set to tip off. And the Warriors will control the tip. And that's Dunlap with it at the top of the key. And a ring out there for the Warriors, rebounded by Matthew Lee. And they'll get down the court quickly, finding Silva, but he'll give it up to Lee. B.B. Benitez up top on the elbow. Find Silva. Pierce will take a shot, jumper for him, and that's no good. That's a rebound for Dunlap for the Warriors. Dunlap takes it down the court. Three-pointer from the corner. It looks like it was tipped by Pierce, and Pierce is running down the floor. Benitez not able to find him, and Benitez is stripped by Dunlap. Dunlap will take it up the court once again. He'll pass it off to Davis. Dunlap in the corner. He's off. Rebound for tea time. Tee on Rollins. Rollins will take it down the court. And a similar play being run here by the Patriots. The white formation who we've seen head coach Gary Edwards call many times. Rollins will take a three, and it's off. A rebound by Hunter Davis. Yeah. Steal for Rollins, and it's tea time. Straight off the bat, two points for Rollins. Patriots lead 2-0. Alex Cox awaits to come into game. Dunlap again coming down the court. And he's blocked by Lee. Dunlap tried to go coast to coast, but the Patriots said, no, no, no. Try again. Inbound pass here going to be taken by Addy. And Addy finds Hunter in the corner. Addy with it. He splits the defense, takes a fadeaway jumper, and hits it. The Warriors' first points of the match. Hunter for a two-pointer. And Rollins will take it up the court for the Patriots. He'll give it off to Silva, who finds Cox on the elbow. Pierce getting a lot of space from Trenard Farrell. Pierce not one to usually stroke the three-pointer, but he has hit one here in his career as a Patriot. Silva pump fakes, finds Cox for three. Cox is off, front rim, rebounded by Farrell. And Dunlap somehow was able to control it. Addy with the outlet pass. Oh, and it rims out, rebound for Rollins.
Rollins these past games has really been on a hot streak as Silva takes a fade away and it's off. Rebounded by Hunter. Rollins has been on a tear here recently though for the Patriots. These last three or four games he's been the leading scorer and he's really been coming out of his shell. As a three-pointer from Dunlap is good. And now he's only 30 points away from hitting 1,000 career points. Cox on the elbow. And Lee tried to feed Pierce. It's deflected off of a warrior. And Jose Benitez checks in, and Matthew Lee heads back to the bench. Benitez, the inbound, he gets Rollins, and Rollins flicks it off the wrist, and it's no good. Rebound for Addy, excuse me. And Addy will take it up the court. He'll look to go coast to coast, and he doesn't get it. Cox will come up with a rebound. Silva pulls up from the elbow. He's short. Benitez comes up with the rebound, takes a quick jumper, and hits it. Phoebe Benitez. Dunlap takes it up the court. Quick turnaround jumper. And that'll be off of Alex Cox. Rollins tried to save it. Stays with the Warriors, and that's a timeout. Media timeout here. We'll take a quick break and come right back out of this timeout with more Patriots basketball here on the Patriots Sports Network. Carolinas. And we're back here at the Smith University Center here as Francis Marion University hosts the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors, who are off to a 5-4 start. The Warriors leading by one. It's been a decent start for both sides. A couple of misses for each team, but... They'll seem to hit a rhythm here soon. Dunlap hit a three on the Warriors' last possession, as well as Bibi Benitez hitting a two-pointer for the Patriots. Dunlap will hit a deep three for the Warriors, and he's short. Rebound for Silva. Rollins will take it up the court again. Alex Cox, who has been out for a little bit for the Patriots, made his return last game on Saturday against Erskine. He'll get the ball here on the elbow. Find Silva underneath the basket. Silva with a hook shot, and it's no good. And Warriors able to keep the possession. Substitution here for the Warriors. That's Arusha Hunter coming back to the bench. Coming into the game is Brendan Hoban. as well as Solomon Smith will come in for Trenard Farrell. Dunlap defended by Benitez. And Jose Benitez will get called for the foul, blocking foul on Bibi Benitez. Inbound pass here for the Warriors. And 
And this will be an interesting matchup today. Jose Benitez, freshman guard versus Taja Dunlap, who is just 30 points away from hitting 1,000 career points. Hoban cornered, but it'll stay with the Warriors. Our officials will discuss the call here, and they'll confirm it and give it to the Patriots. Inbound here, Rollins takes it. Benitez comes up the court, gets it to Yegba. Benitez finds Rollins, and he's called for a travel. Coach Edwards calling for the Patriots men to be more aggressive on offense here as they are only have four points on the board. I'll tell you one thing, though, about the defense. You can't complain about that so far as they've only allowed five points for the Warriors in this first half. Six minutes in now. Addy will find Smith, who finds his way past Yegba, and he gets fouled on the shot. He'll shoot two for the Warriors. He's fouled by Cox. Number 11, Alex Cox. And Solomon Smith, who is a 42% free throw shooter this season, and he misses the first one, or excuse me, makes the first one for the Warriors. But as I was saying, a 42% free throw shooter. And he makes the second one. St. Cyr checks in the game for Rollins. Yegba up top gets it to Pierce. Pierce will take another shot, and he hits it. And like I said earlier, Jonah Pierce not known for his jump shot, but he'll hit it if you give him enough space. And St. Cyr gets a finger on it as it stays with the Warriors. I could see this being an interesting matchup as well. Solomon Smith versus Johan Steve Yegba. Three-pointer there from Hoban. It's off the rim. Rebounded by Alex Cox, who takes it down the floor. Swings it to Benitez. Back to Cox, over to Pierce. St. Cyr ends up with it. Cox from behind the arc. Finds Pierce. Yegba makes a move. And one for the French native here in Florence. That'll put the Patriots ahead by one, making the score eight to seven. Lots of subs here for the Warriors. As it looks like the only one staying on the court will be Taja Dunlap. Rollins checks back in for the Patriots. And Yegba's off. He's not able to convert the and one. Dunlap all the way, finger roll. That's why he stays on the court for the Warriors. Not only because he's a few points shy of 1,000 career points, but so far in this game, he looks like their most consistent player on offense. And they're guarding Rollins super tight. Yegba pump fakes, and he's blocked by Farrell. Tried the fading floater, but it didn't work against the Warriors. 
Great defense from St. Cyr as he makes Bradford have to give it up. Dunlop, he finds a man on the elbow, and that's off. That was Julian Cameron from three. St. Cyr ended up with the rebound. St. Cyr's looking to go coast to coast, and he does it. Patriots up 10-9. Farrell will take a dribble and a shot, and he banks it. I don't think he even thought that was going in, but it drops for the Warriors. Up 12-10 now. St. Cyr takes a three, and he hits it. Patriots up one, 13-12 here in the first half. St. Cyr catching a little bit of fire. And a steal for St. Cyr. Cox finds Pierce, who's fouled. Hard foul there from the Warriors. That'll lead to a timeout here. And we'll be right back after the break here from the media timeout here in Florence, South Carolina. We'll be right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. And we're back here in Florence, South Carolina, here on the Patriots Sports Network as the Francis Marion University Patriots host the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors. Patriots up 13-12. With the Patriots inbounding after the last foul on Davion Bradford. Rollins will inbounds, and he'll find Silva over top. Silva from the top of the key. He makes a spin move. Nice fake. Alex Cox for three. And it's in. Buries it. 16-12, Patriots lead. And that's the first three-pointer for Alex Cox in a long time. Alex Cox defending here on Julian Cameron. And St. Cyr tips it. Cox comes up with it. Another great play for Fareed St. Cyr. And Cox thought he put a little bit too much on it, but he actually didn't put enough on it. Patriots still end up getting the basket. Patriots lead 18-12 here. Timeout. Southern Wesleyan University. We'll stay here with you as it's a 30-second timeout for the Warriors. Something I'm noticing off the rip with Southern Wesleyan and their defensive tactics is they are not letting Tion Rollins shoot the ball. And rightfully so, as these past three, four games, he has hit, I believe, 20 or more points and a few game winners for the Patriots. So... Interesting strategy from the Warriors that's going to leave players like Jose Benitez a little bit more shooting room, and Nick Silva may be able to get a couple more shots up as he's been uh, contained a little bit over these past few games. But back to action here as Addy takes up the floor for the Warriors. He'll take a quick jump shot, and he's off. Benitez up the court. 
Awkward pass, but it gets to St. Cyr, and St. Cyr can't land it. Picked up by the Warriors finally, and they'll head down the other end. Hunter Davis finally back in the game for the Warriors. And that's a brick wall right there, Jonah Pierce. And a three from Arusha Hunter rims out, and it's rebounded by the Patriots as they'll head back down the court. Rollins pull up three. He's off. Rebound for Hunter. And Addy gets closed in. Too much on the pass from Davis. That ends up in Patriot possession. Around nine minutes remaining here in the first half. Alex Cox comes in for Fareed St. Cyr. Silva pump fakes. Cox gets it down low to Pierce who backs up Farrell. Couple shot fakes. Travel called on Pierce. Benitez was all alone in the paint last second, but Pierce picked up that pivot foot, and it's back with the Warriors. And an alley-oop pass to Trenard Farrell. Not quite the prettiest alley-oop we've seen, but it gets down the hole. Pierce will pull up. And he hits for two. You're going to give him that space. Pierce is going to pull up right in your face. Hunter Davis with it. He's looking for the outlet pass. Davis tried to dunk it. He's fouled by Cox on the way up. And Davis was almost unaccounted for. Cox got there late, but eliminated the chance for an and one. Davis now shoots two at the line. And he sinks the first one. Substitution here for the Patriots. Alex Cox comes out for Farid Sincere. Silva comes up with a rebound, a miss from Davis. And B.B. Benitez will drive it up the court for the Patriots. St. Cyr with it. Rollins in the corner. Benitez takes a two-pointer, and he hits it. Oh, and Rollins almost came up with another one. Pass fake from Hunter. And Pierce fouls Farrell. Foul for the Patriots, number 15, Jonah Pierce. Timeout on the floor, media. And that'll be a media timeout here. Patriots up 22-15. This is the Patriots Sports Network. I'm Alex Wober. We'll be right back after this break. The Smallphones Club is the fundraising arm of the Francis Marion University Athletic Department, and it supplies assistance to all 14 intercollegiate sports. On behalf of the student athletes at Francis Marion, I would like to thank all those who are members of the Swamp Fox Club for their support. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And we're back here at the Smith University Center here in Florence, South Carolina. Patriots lead 22-15 with seven minutes to go here in the first half. Warriors set to inbound. I think we can say almost confirmed, but the Patriots definitely better their second time around with the Warriors. The first time, like I said earlier, as Addy finishes a layup there for the Warriors. The first time these two teams met up, it was at Southern Wesleyan's place, and it was a loss for the Patriots, 38-75. to They've already hit half of those points here in the first half. As Pierce gives it up, and Addy comes away with the steal. We'll find Davis. Backdoor pass. Almost an in one opportunity. That was Julian Cameron there. Now gets two shots at the line. We await Nyjah Jordan to end the game for the Patriots. At the line of the Warriors, number five, Julian Cameron. And Benitez might have came down awkwardly on that left leg. Substitution for the Patriots, number 23. As Cameron knocks down Nigel the first Jordan. one. Pierce comes out for Jordan. And he knocks down both of them. Warriors only down three now. Six and a half minutes to go. And Coach Edwards and the Patriots call a timeout. It did not look like the Patriots were on the same page there in terms of the play call. 30-second timeout for the Patriots. We'll stay right here with you. The Francis Marion women's basketball team will host to Belmont Abbey College on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Both FMU squads will be on the road this weekend playing at Lees McRae College on Friday night and at King University on Saturday afternoon. The Patriot women will entertain Chowan University next Tuesday, February 8th, with a 5.30 p.m. start time. And we're back to action here as Rollins inbounds it to Benitez. Silva with it in the paint. Hard basket. That's two points for Silva, his first of the evening. And Addy is starting to run point here for the Warriors. Haven't seen a lot of Dunlap here in these last few minutes. Davis is going to go all the way, but he misses the layup. Addy with a pump fake, and he sinks the shot. Two points for the Warriors. 24-21, Patriots up by three. As Dunlap awaits the check in for the Warriors. Silva will pull a shot. He's off and ends up right back with Rollins. A reset play here for the Patriots. Benitez has it. Jordan will take a jump shot. And it just hits the back iron. Addy comes down with the rebound. Davis with it, top of the key. And Jordan almost came away with the steal, but Rollins does. And as Rollins was crossing half court, uh, that would be Trenard Farrell grabbed the arm. No foul stays with the Patriots. Rollins comes out. Matthew Lee enters the game. St. Cyr inbounds for the Patriots. Finds Benitez. Gets it over to Lee. Silva on the elbow. And Silva filling up Davis. Jordan, pump fake. Back to Silva. He takes a deep three. And it's short. Ends up back with the Patriots for Benitez. Lee takes a jumper and it rims out. 
And it stays with the Patriots yet again. Quick in and out sub here as Rollins comes back in for the Patriots. Number one, Deion Rollins. Benitez will come out for the Patriots. Give him a quick breather here with about four and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Rollins looking for St. Cyr. He finds him. St. Cyr drives all the way and won. There at St. Cyr. Catching fire early here for the Patriots. That's his seventh point of the contest so far, and he'll head to the free throw line looking for three. More. Looking to complete that three-point play. And he's short and ends up with Davis. Dunlap will walk it up the court. And Dunlap finds Farrell. And he'll be fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Foul from the Patriots, number 23, Nigel Jordan. Nigel Jordan's first foul of the contest. At the last of Warriors, number 35, Trenard Farrell. Farrell's first free throw is off. Farrell this season, a 61% free throw, th free throw shooter. Misses both of them there. Patriots still lead by five. Foul on Trenard Farrell here for the Warriors and... Solomon Smith will enter the game now for Farrell. Rollins to inbound, finds St. Cyr. Over to Jordan. Rollins guarded by Dunlap. Silva with a fake. Back to Jordan who pulls up for a jumper. And he'll hit. That's a two-pointer for Nigel Jordan. 28-21 now. Cameron trapped in the corner. Dunlap slides it over. Back to Dunlap. He'll pull up for a shot. And it rims out. And a miscommunication there between St. Cyr and Lee. Timeout on the floor, media Leads timeout. us to our last media timeout here the first half. We'll come back here, back to action here with 3.22 left in the first half. I'm Alex Wober, and you're listening to the Patriots Sports Network. The world is changing, and Francis Marion University is leading the way as it prepares the young men and women for the future. We've added five new classroom buildings and 13 new academic programs in the past six years, and more are on the way. We're preparing to build a new environmental research center. We're expanding programs in engineering, business, education, healthcare, and the arts and sciences, and we're adding new fields when they're needed. When tomorrow comes, we'll be ready. Best of all, our students will too. And we're back in action here at the Smith University Center here in Florence, South Carolina, as a few of our Patriots men's baseball players find us here on the so-called Jumbotron, as we like to say. <laughs> Warriors set to inbound the pass here. That's Addy, and he gets it to Dunlap. Dunlap. 
Rajay Dunlap finds Addy for three. He's off. Solomon Smith comes down with the rebound, finds Davis outside. Rainbow pass over to Cameron. Davis back with it. Good idea from Davis, but Dunlap not able to control it. Patriots possession. Seven-point lead here, three minutes left in the first half. Lee with it on the top of the key. Finds Rollins, who's tightly guarded by Dunlap. Silva looks to take a jump shot. It's off the left side of the rim, rebounded by Addy. A little bit of trap defense here from the Patriots. Dunlap guarded by Rollins. They'll trap Dunlap. And they'll find Davis. Solomon Smith with an easy layup unguarded. FMU up 28-23. Jordan finds Silva in the corner, guarded by Davis. Rollins deep, NBA three, off the back iron. And staying with the Warriors now, 28-23, minute 51 left. Dunlap walks it up the court, guarded by Lee. Great idea from Dunlap, but a little bit behind Solomon Smith. And an easy layup there for Silva as the Patriots play a little bit of team basketball with some nice combo passes there. Dunlap up the court, gets it over to Smith. And Smith found Cameron, but it ended up out of bounds, staying with the Warriors on this side. Substitution for the Warriors, number 35, Bernard Farrell, number one, Brendan Hoban. And a steal there for Silva. He loses the ball a little bit, but still heads towards the basket and finishes. That's Nick Silva finishing over number 11, Hunter Davis there. Dunlap finds Davis. Davis going to go all the way. That rims out. Rebound by Silva. Rollins pushes it up the floor. 45 seconds remaining here. 17 on the shot clock. Patriots can't hold it for the last shot. St. Cyr with a beautiful move there on Hoban. Southern Wesleyan can't hold it for the last shot. Dunlap's going to walk it up as close to half court as he can. Matthew Lee will guard him here in the last seconds of the first half. Dunlap here, seven seconds. He's going to look to go all the way. He's blocked by Lee. St. Cyr with the last shot. Oh, and it's close for the Patriots. Great play from Matthew Lee there to stop the possession of the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors. ISO call from Dunlap doesn't go his way. Patriots enter halftime up 34-23. Some of our leading scores here for the Patriots so far. Farid St. Cyr with nine points in the contest so far. Also look at Jonah Pierce, who has six points for the Patriots, and Nick Silva, who also has six points. Over on the Warriors' side, leading scorer for them is Demarcus Addy with six points so far. Following him is Tajay Dunlap with five and Trenard Farrell with five points. Been an interesting first half for both sides. Patriots 
34 points. Just to point that out one more time, they only scored 35 points in the, or excuse me, 38 points in the entire game last time these two teams met up in so at Southern Wesleyan. Patriots going into half with an 11 point lead. They've been playing tremendous defense so far against the Warriors. And it has proven to be beneficial for the Patriots. Some of the best defense I've seen this squad play all season long, trapping some of the Warriors' guards in the corners, forcing contested shots. I mean, whatever the Patriots fixed in these last few games on defense is showing today against the Warriors. Southern Wesleyan, on the other hand, got to come out a little bit more aggressive on offense. They've been kind of sitting back a little bit more on offense and letting the Patriots get a lot of easy buckets on the offensive side. So uh, both sides uh, pretty evenly. Patriots, though, got the best of them up 11 going into halftime. I'm Alex Wober. You're listening to the Patriots Sports Network. We'll see you back here in the second half. Let me paint you a picture. All of the graduates, all of the faculty, all of the administration, all of the board of trustees is decked out in their regalia, their black robes, their hats, their gold tassels. It's just a most beautiful picture of a very formal kind of occasion. And here we march into the gymnasium and the music is playing and the gym is packed. And as we come in and as you look up at all those people, you see families, huge families. You see not just mama and daddy and two brothers and a sister, but there's grandmama and granddaddy, there's the aunt and the uncle, they're the cousins, they're the next door neighbors. And you know why all those people are there? Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. And I can guarantee you that when you go to that graduation, you leave with a tear in your eye because it's so, so special. The desire and the love to take care of people is something that you kind of have innate. You kind of just have that thing. Um, but Francis Marion gave me the principles and they taught me the core values. They taught me leadership qualities and they've just been foundational and offered a family that I can keep going back to. So even though my personal biological family didn't go to a university um, and I didn't really get any experience, wisdom from them for that, I gained a family that could tell me all about college and even the 
afterlife of college by coming to Francis Marion. Um, and I'm not sure you would have that with, you know, other universities. Throughout the nurse, the nurse practitioner program, you're already a nurse and you're a devoted nurse and you don't want to just quit. Um, and that's, that was another thing I specifically picked this program was because I was able to look at the curriculum and know that I could work. I even asked a couple of the professors, one being Dr. Hopla, before I started the program and even she told me, yes, you can still work while you do this. Um, and I did. I worked 40 hours a week, five days a week. Um, sometimes it had to be six, six days a week um, to get my 40 hours in and I still did the nurse practitioner program. Um, it wasn't easy, but nothing worth having is easy, so. Which, the benefit of having um, classmates and professors that were both working and studying is, you know, we would get worked up and worried about how would we ever do this, um, and then they would say, well, you know, I can work these two 12-hour shifts on the weekends and then have the week to study or a professor may say well you can get creative with your hours here so you can tell that they've done this you know that you can tell that they've gotten creative with their time as well um, and then all of a sudden it doesn't feel like such a daunting task because again you gain wisdom from their experience. Choosing a college isn't easy. There are lots of choices to make and so many variables to consider. How do you know when you've found just the right place? The right college will make you feel at home. And that begins with a sense of place. At Francis Marion University, we have a beautiful campus that's safe, well-maintained, and filled with smiling faces. It's the kind of place where you feel you belong where you wake up in the morning and know that the day ahead will be one you'll savor and enjoy. Now, that doesn't mean life at FMU is easy. There will be challenges. Hard work is expected. We take our academics seriously. You should too. Earning one of our degrees is a real achievement. But some toil, some time invested in a difficult task, that's okay. That's how you grow how you become someone. FMU is a comprehensive public university, and when it comes to academics, our students have a wide range of choices. We offer more than 75 majors and courses of study. Our professional schools in healthcare, engineering, business, and education are all well-known and respected across the state. At the same time, the arts and the sciences remain the core of what we do. They are the perfect foundation for a successful career and a meaningful life. Programs are important and will continue to work to produce new curriculum that meets the needs of our changing world. But we also know that a great education is less about what is taught and more about who is doing the teaching. FMU's faculty is made up of distinguished scholars and renowned researchers. They're experts in their field and expert teachers too. They love the give and take of the classroom and revel in the progress their students make. In FMU's intimate academic environment where small classes are the norm, you'll get to know a lot of these dedicated men and women. Some you will remember forever. The academic work and its rewards are why you are here. But there will be a time and place for play too. We have more than 60 different student organizations and field teams in 14 NCAA sports. A robust schedule of extracurriculars is a big part of each semester. You'll find space here for rest and relaxation. You'll make new friends and build relationships that last a lifetime. And then, almost as quickly as it all began, it will be over. You will graduate and move on to a life and career full of promise. You'll leave memories behind. You'll leave FMU, but you'll be welcome back anytime. Home is like that, you know. Welcome home. Welcome to FMU.
And we're back here in Florence, South Carolina, here at the Smith University Center here as Francis Marion University hosts Southern Wesleyan University here. And a little bit of a rematch from earlier in the season, Southern Wesleyan getting the best of the Patriots, 75 to 38 at their place right before Christmas break in December. Patriots having a little bit to say about that this time, returning here to the Smith University Center to face off against this team. 34-23 in that first half. You tell me, guys, uh, the Patriots almost scored as many points in this first half as they did the entire game at Southern Wesleyan's place. So, uh, without a doubt, the Patriots have performed a lot better in this second bout against the Warriors. Uh, we'll see if that continues here in the second half as we are back to action here is Benitez... Guarded by Addy. He finds Rollins. Silva in the corner. Pierce guarded by Farrell. Silva guarded by Davis. Davis had to switch. Silva doesn't connect there. Warriors ball as they inbound here. Patriots in the past have had a little bit of trouble holding on to that first half lead. And we'll see if that continues today as Addy right out the break hits a three pointer for the Warriors. 34 26 now. Patriots up by eight. Silva with it. Guarded by Davis. Benitez pulls up for three. He can't connect either. Warriors ball. Yegba checks in now for Pierce. Dunlap takes it up the court. Benitez guards. Silva switches on him. Some mismatches here for the Warriors. And Matthew Lee almost came up with another big defensive play for the Patriots. Stays with the Warriors, though. Inbound to Farrell. Over to Addy. Addy's going to do a floater, and he's going to be fouled. Blocking foul there on B.B. Benitez. That'll be his second foul and so far in the contest. Substitution for the Patriots. Alex Cox checks in Alex for Matthew Cox. Lee. As Addy connected with the first free throw. Second free throw is up and it's good. 34-28 now. Patriots holding a six-point lead. Started off with 11 here in the second half. Dwindled down to six. Cox takes the Yegba screen. Guys, all the way to the basket. It's no good. Rebounded by Dunlap. Dunlap crosses over. Good defense by Cox. And they'll call a reach-in foul here on Cox. Foul for the Patriots, number 11, Alex Cox. Inbound pass to Farrell. He keeps it. Farrell. Had a shot from the top of the key. Addy pulls from the corner, and he hits. Holds up the tray for the crowd. Makes it a three-point lead for the Patriots, 34-31. 
timeout here for the Patriots as the Warriors have come out timeout fiery. Media timeout. It'll be our first media timeout of the second half. We'll take a short break here as I'm Alex Wober. You're listening to the Patriots Sports Network. We'll be right back. This is Conference Carolinas. And we're back here in Florence, South Carolina, here at the Smith University Center. Patriots lead 34, Southern Wesleyan 31. 17 and a half minutes to go here in the second half as a little bit of Darud sandstorm here to get the crowd on their feet. No towels here as we aren't at Williams Bryce, but we'll keep the energy going here at the Smith Center. Yeah, but with it. St. Cyr almost gets it stripped, and he does. Addy ends up with the steal. Addy drives in. He can't get anything. Davis with a smooth pass to Farrell, but St. Cyr will deflect it out of bounds. Stays with the Warriors. Addy will inbound. Matthew Lee checks in now for Jose Benitez. Inbound to Farrell. Back over to Addy. Rollins guarding Addy. Dunlap gets it. Addy with a pump fake. Farrell at the top of the key. Bounce pass to Hunter who gets the layup for the Warriors. One point game. 34-33 Patriots with a one point lead. Yegba has it on the elbow. Silva will take a jump shot, and that'll fall for him. 36-33 now for the Patriots. Davis has it top of the key. He'll get it over to Hunter. Now Addy. He'll pull up from three. Heat check, but looks like he's cooled down. Dunlap went for the rebound. And it'll be a foul on the floor on St. Cyr. Patriots' third foul already of this second half. They got to watch out for those numbers on the fouls. Addy inbounds it to Hunter. Davis, top of the key. Dish off to Dunlap. Dunlap guarded by Lee. St. Cyr with the goalie gloves ends up with the steal. Coast to coast for St. Cyr. He can't drop it in. Dunlap goes down the court for the Warriors. He's looking to go coast to coast. Dumps it off to Davis. And they'll call a blocking foul here. That'll be a foul on Nick Silva, I believe. As we'll go into the media timeout here. We'll take a short break. You're listening to the Patriot Sports Network. I'm Alex Wober. We'll be right back.
And we're back here in Florence, South Carolina, here at the Smith University Center. Patriots lead 36-33. It's Warriors basketball as they're set to inbound here. Addy with the pass to Dunlap. Guarded by Lee. Dunlap with a floater. He's fouled. That'll be two shots for Dunlap at the line here. Out of the Patriots, number 12, Matthew Lee. At the line for the Warriors, zero, Tajay Dunlap. Dunlap's first shot is good. Dunlap, a 77% free throw shooter. Connected on 52 of 67 so far this season. And that one rims out. Rebounded by Silva. St. Cyr will take it up the block. Finds Rollins. Rollins really hasn't been able to hit his stride. We'll see if he can do it right here. He can't. Ends up back with the Warriors. Substitution here as Lee comes out and Alex Cox comes in. Number 11, Alex Cox. Arusha Hunter will come out for the Warriors. And Julian Cameron will enter the game. Davis dishes it off to Dunlap. Rollins defending. Crossed over. Over the top pass. Can't get there to Farrell. Yegbo loses it, but St. Cyr recovers. St. Cyr heavily guarded by Dunlap. He was looking for a steal on that play. St. Cyr had to give it up to Silva. Finds Yegba. Rollins takes a jump shot and he's fouled. Three point opportunity here for Rollins at the line. Score the basket. Fouls of the Warriors, number 13, Demarcus Addy. And Rollins will hit his second shot of the contest so far. Hasn't really been able to get in the groove yet. Let's see if he can connect the three point play. He does. Three points the easy way there for Rollins. Matthew Lee jumps back in the game. Alex Cox returns back to the bench for the Patriots. Dunlap up the court. Loses it. Silva comes up with it. 3v3. Everybody back on this side now. Rollins top of the key. Guarded by Cameron. Yebka finds St. Cyr. Silva down low. Reach in foul on Addy. The Warriors have done a good job so far in this contest avoiding fouls. It's their second foul here in the second half. Silva tries to fake. It's the fade away, and it comes out of the rim there. Addy comes up with a rebound. Davis with it. Looking to put a move on Silva. Backing him down in the paint. Hook shot. It's way off. Rebounded by Addy. And they'll call a foul here on... Five, on Farid number five, Farid St. Cyr. That's Farid's third foul here. Addy will shoot two at the line here. And he sinks the first one. Pair of subs here for the Patriots as Matthew Lee and Farid St. Cyr come off. Jose B.B. Benitez and Alex Cox enter the game for the Patriots. Second shot is good from DeMarcus Addy, who so far has been 
the Warriors number one scoring option as Rollins pass sails over Yegba's head. Warriors basketball. Patriots still hold a three point lead here but DeMarcus Addy has been giving the Patriots a lot of problems. 16 points so far. Eight rebounds in total. 100% from the free throw line, and he's hit two threes as well. Addy with a swing pass. Screen from Farrell. Gets taken by the Patriots. Rollins up the floor and nails the layup for the Patriots there. 41-36. Push the lead to five. Farrell with it. Addy's going to pull up. And he's going to hit it. He's going to holster those pistols. That's 19 now for Addy. Rollins is going to pull up. And he hits. Anything you can do, I can do better. Tea time. Tion Rollins. Bounce pass to Addy. He has to give it up. And what was a strong play down low. Crowd here at the Smith Center wanted a foul. Instead, the Warriors will end up at the free throw line here for two shots. That's Trenard Farrell at the line here. First shot is short off the front rim. Jonah Pierce enters the game now for Nick Silva. Farrell's second shot, good. Now Benitez guarded heavily by Cameron. Rainbow pass to Rollins who gets it up the floor. Benitez unguarded. Finds Pierce but he can't connect and he's fouled. That's two shots now for Pierce. Almost came away with a posterizer there for the Patriots. Either way he'll have a chance here at the line to get two. At the line for the Patriots, number 15, Jonah Pierce. First shot is no good off the back iron. Second free throw is barely in there for the Patriots. Just gets the right bounce. These Patriots extend the lead back to five. Rollins. Almost able to come up with it. Benitez poked it out. It stays with the Warriors. Warriors set to inbound. And we'll look to clean up a little bit of Hydration off the floor here. <laughs> and back to basketball here as the Warriors inbound the pass. Cameron on the elbow back to Dunlap. Swings it over to Addy. Inside to Davis. Top. Three-pointer from Dunlap. It's way too short. The Warriors keep it alive and get it back to Addy. Davis over the top. Dunlap tries again. It's short. Pierce comes up with a rebound. Benitez up the court now. Pierce with it up top. Rollins. Jump shot. It's good. Rollins was begging for the ball on that possession, and he showed why. 
Knocks down a two, extends the lead to seven for the Patriots. Addy guarded by Benitez. Addy guarded by Cox. Cameron in the corner. Drives in and knocks down the layup for the Warriors. 47-42. Davion Bradford awaits the end of the game for the Warriors. Alex Cox, top of the key. Just off. Rebounded by Dunlap. Just a little bit off there for Alex Cox off the left side of the rim. Cameron looking to get around that big body. Yebka Dunlap tries for the third time. Can't get it. Tip in made there by Hunter Davis. And that's why it's so important for these Warriors to have those two big men on the court. They're so good down low at those second chance opportunities, and it proves so right there. Pierce up top. And immediate timeout here. 47-44, Patriots lead by three. This is the Patriots Sports Network. I'm Alex Wober. We'll be right back. The Swamp Falls Club is the fundraising arm of the Francis Marion University Athletic Department, and it supplies assistance to all 14 intercollegiate sports. On behalf of the student athletes at Francis Marion, I would like to thank all those who are members of the Swamp Falls Club for their support. Thank you. 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 And we're back here in Florence, South Carolina, here at the Smith University Center. Patriots lead 47 of 44 here with 10 and a half minutes about to go here in the second half. It'll be Patriot basketball here on this end. Jose Benitez set to inbound. Nigel Jordan now on the court. Finds Cox. Pick and roll here. They dish it out to Lee. Benitez finds Lee in the corner. Lee blocked by Cameron. Addy takes it up the court. Crossover. Finds Cameron at the three-point line. He's guarded by Matthew Lee. Drives left. Stutter step, and he gets the two points for the Warriors. 47-46, one-point lead for the Patriots. Benitez guarded by Bradford. Silva guarded by Davis. He's going to keep it. Finds Lee in the corner. Screened by Silva. Lee pulls up, and he's short. Cox tries to keep it in, and Warriors keep it. And a smart foul there by Matthew Lee, to say the least. Don't give up an easy two points to the Warriors. Let them earn it at the foul line. Warriors arguing a clear path foul. We'll get some clarification right here. Looks like it's going to just be a regular shooting foul, two shots, but they'll reconvene here again. Little bit of confusion here on the call.
Substitution for the Patriots, number one, Theon Rollins. Number five, Looks to be two shots here for Cameron. Edwards not sure five, about the call. So Benitez and our official here will have a few words. As Cameron knocks it down. Two-point lead now for the Warriors. Haven't led since the early stages in the first half. Jordan's going to pull up. Back iron. Benitez comes up with a rebound. Rollins fakes. And sticky hands there from Davion Bradford as he intercepts the pass from Tion Rollins. Finds Cameron on the left side. He takes a shot and just off. But Davis knocks down the tip-in layup. St. Cyr finds Jordan. Jordan gets it over to Silva. Pump fakes. Finds Rollins. Rollins. Is going to be fouled on the shot. That's two shots now for Tion Rollins. And that'll be Demarcus Addy's fourth foul here. He's got to watch out because he is in foul trouble now for the Warriors. And Rollins here about to take his first free throw shot. And it rims out. Substitution. The Warriors, zero. Elijah Jordan comes off as Johan Steve Yepka returns back to the court and Alex Cox. A little bit of an entanglement there with Yegba and Bradford. And he sinks the second one. Warriors inbound. Davis gets it over to Cameron. He backs up, takes a jump shot. It's off. And he'll call a foul on Hunter Davis. Patriot ball. Rollins takes it up the court, guarded by Bradford, and he's going to slip. Bradford comes up with the steal. Guarded by Yebga. Davis in the corner. He gives it up to Bradford. Bradford with some nice moves. Gets it over to Farrell, and they'll call a blocking foul there on Alex Cox. We'll have a media timeout here. Patriots down 48, Southern Wesleyan 53. Here with seven and a half minutes left in the second half. We'll return back to action here on the Patriot Sports Network. I'm Alex Wober. We'll be right back. The world is changing, and Francis Marion University is leading the way as it prepares the young men and women for the future. We've added five new classroom buildings and 13 new academic programs in the past six years, and more are on the way. We're preparing to build a new environmental research center. We're expanding programs in engineering, business, education, healthcare, and the arts and sciences. And we're adding new fields when they're needed. When tomorrow comes, we'll be ready. Best of all, our students will too.
minutes remaining. Patriots led for a majority of this contest. Warriors finally found a little bit of their groove. Warriors now lead 53 to 48. Here is Trenard Farrell set to take a free throw. And it'll be good. Extends the lead to six points for the Warriors. Rollins guarded by Cameron. Or excuse me, Bradford. Silva hands it off to St. Cyr who pulls up for a jump shot. And they'll call Farid St. Cyr on the foul. Oh, excuse me, that'll be Alex Cox. That'll be his fourth foul of the contest. Over to Cameron. Back over to Dunlap. Dunlap looks to drive in, floater, and knocks it down. Sends their lead to eight points. St. Cyr, crossover, backs it out to Silva. Rollins takes it back outside. He looks to go all the way. He loses a little bit of the control on it. And Bradford maintains it for the Warriors. Dunlap takes it up the court. Bradford in the corner. Davis with it. And Dunlap, hard foul by Yebga. Foul for the Patriots, number 30, Johan Steve Yebga. Dunlap will shoot two at the line. At the line for the Warriors, zero, Tajay Dunlap. Yegba didn't like the call. Dunlap sinks the first shot. Yevga comes out for Pierce. Rollins comes in or comes out for Benitez. Benitez with it up the court finds Silva. Going to need some three-pointers from Silva here as the Patriots are facing a 10-point deficit. Silva guarded by Davis. Rises up and can't finish. Rebounded by Farrell. Dunlap pushes it up quickly to Bradford's Euro step. It's blocked by Pierce. Cox is going to slow it down a little bit. Over to Silva. Silva. Finds Pierce for a jumper. That's no good. Cox tries to come down with the rebound. It's Farrell with it. Over to Dunlap, who will jog it up the court. Dunlap hits another one for the Warriors. 60-48. to 48. Warriors on a little bit of a run here. Pass inside to Benitez. Looks to turn around and he can't knock it down. Farrell comes up with the rebound. Dunlap. Guarded by St. Cyr. Bounce pass to Davis. Davis gonna drive. And banks it in for two. 62-48, Warriors have really flipped the switch here. St. Cyr lost control of it, but it stays with the Patriots. Cox over to St. Cyr. Double teamed, 
Silva pulls up for three and knocks it down. Exactly what the Patriots needed there to stop that Warriors run. 62-51, timeout, Francis Marion University. We'll take a media timeout here and we'll come right back. This is the Patriots Sports Network. I'm Alex Wober. We'll be right back here. And we're back here in Florence, South Carolina, here at the Smith University Center. Patriots down to Southern Wesleyan University, 62 to 51. Four minutes, 23 seconds remaining here in the second half. The Patriots in this game really had a great first half. They did. And, and we talked about it a little bit at halftime with the Patriots having a a tendency to, you know, give up that first going into halftime lead, which was 11 points. Now, Southern Wesleyan University with an 11-point lead on the Patriots. As we return back to action now with the Warriors in possession. Cameron dribbling all around Rollins. Farrell. Five seconds on the shot clock. Dunlap has to haul something up. And he doesn't get it, but yeah. Farrell is absolutely blocked by Pierce. Check if there's any air left in that ball as Tion Rollins shoots a three, but he can't connect. Farrell secures the rebound. Would have been a real change of momentum there for the Patriots if Tion Rollins would have sunk that three-pointer. Charge there. Jose Benitez takes it. Going the Patriots way. Still down 11. They got to figure something out here with about three and a half minutes remaining. Benitez all the way. Stays with it. Poked out by Cameron, but stays with FMU. Rollins inbounds it to Benitez. Benitez pulls up for a jump shot and knocks it down. Much needed for the Patriots. Nine-point lead for the Warriors now. 2.56 to go. Dunlap and one. Three-point play opportunity now at the line for the Warriors. Score the basket. Foul for the Patriots. Number one, Tion Rollins. At the line for the Warriors. Zero, Tajay Dunlap. Dunlap to shoot his first shot. Or excuse me, knocks down the sec or the first free throw to make it a three-point play for Dunlap. Silva guarded by Davis. Finds Pierce down low. 
Inside pass to Silva. No call there. Warriors keep possession. Dunlap has it guarded by Rollins. Over to Cameron. Inside to Davis. He can't finish the layup. Silva inside to Pierce. Benitez tried to finish it, but there'll be a foul called. Two shots here for Jonah Pierce. A 12-point lead for the Warriors with just over two minutes to go. Matthew Lee and Asante Turner awaiting to enter the game for the Patriots. Pierce's first free throw hits. Number 13, DeMarcus Addy. In for the Patriots, number 13, Ashante Turner. Pierce to take his second shot. And it's good. Ten point lead now for the Warriors, two minutes to go. Might have more resonance with the NFL, but a two minute drill here for the Patriots. Dunlap. And we have a clock malfunction to say we have to reset the clock down here. Warriors to inbound it again. And that defense from the Patriots forces a Warriors timeout. Minute 58 to go here. Southern Wesleyan, 30 second timeout. It'll be a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. The Patriots in need of some big buckets here in the last minute 58 of this contest. Both teams in the bonus, Southern Wesleyan in the double bonus now. And with the way the Patriots have been shooting today, three-pointers might not be the way to go here in the last few minutes of this game, but they have to find something on offense, and they have to keep up that intensity of defense. In the first half, I thought the Patriots had played their best half on defense all season. Uh, and like we said, we talked about at halftime. Patriots do have a tendency to let these halftime leads go away, and that, that's exactly what happened today as the Warriors were down for most of that first half, ended up taking the lead here as Rollins comes up with a bad play from the Warriors and lays it in. That's two quick points for the Patriots. 65-57, they'll call a foul on Benitez here. And that'll send the Warriors straight to the line. Tajay Dunlap will shoot for Southern Wesleyan. First shot is up and hits the back iron. Eight point lead for the Warriors. Misses the second one, he's short. Minute 40 here, Silva is gonna take a three pointer and he hits it! Five point lead for the Warriors. Addy's trapped in the corner. And it's the Patriots ball! 65-60, minute 26 to go. Patriots down by five. Substitution here for the Warriors, and an important one at that is Davion Bradford comes in, who's been a real difference maker so far 
on defense for this Warriors team here as Benitez set to inbound. Patriots need a big bucket here. Silva going to look to do it himself. And he's fouled, and he'll go straight to the line. This is a two-point opportunity for the Patriots. Nick Silva to take his first shot, and it's going to be short. Big free throw there for the Patriots. Been a topic of discussion between this program all year is free throws, and Silva's got to hit this next one, and he does. Substitutions here, Matthew Lee and Asante Turner return to the court. Silva and Cox will come out for a quick breather. And St. Cyr got a tip on it, but the Patriots couldn't come up with it. Warriors playing some quick basketball. And they'll call a reach-in foul on Jose Benitez, sending Davion Bradford to the line. Four-point lead for the Warriors. Minute 13 remaining. First shot is up, and it's short. The basketball gods are watching out for the Patriots here, trying to give them a little bit of life with a minute 13 to go. Second shot. Rims out. Big possession here for the Patriots. Rollins crossover in the corner. Benitez can't get a shot. Rollins, minute. Three-pointer hits the back iron. Benitez, offensive rebound, and two points for Benitez. Two-point game here at the Smith University Center, and what a wild two-minute it has been here as the Patriots will take a timeout here, recollect as a group, figure out what they can do here with these last few possessions, 56 seconds remaining in the second half. Warriors basketball only up by two points. We'll be right back after this short break here on the Patriot Sports Network. Carolinas. Back here in Florence, South Carolina. If you haven't been listening yet, you might want to tune in because this is becoming one heck of a game here at the Smith University Center. Patriots were facing about a 12-point deficit earlier a couple minutes ago. They've brought it down to a two-point lead for the Warriors from some incredible defense and some clutch shots by the Patriots. Addy here for the Warriors inbounds it to Dunlap. Benitez with some aggressive defense. He'll back off and let him get past half court. 50 seconds on the clock. Two-point lead for the Warriors. Dunlap. Isolation here on Benitez. Gets it off to Davis. Farrell looking for the pass. Finds, finds Cameron, guarded by Rollins. Cameron gets a little bit of a dribble. Farrell drives inside. Knocks down the two-pointer for the Warriors. Four-point lead for Southern Wesleyan. Quick timeout for them. We'll stay here with you. Patriots in need of a big bucket here. A three makes it a one-point deficit where they can go for the quick two-pointer or even try to draw a foul, maybe an and-one opportunity. A lot of things these Patriots can consider here in this timeout. 
We'll see what the long tenured head coach Gary Edwards, what plays he's got drawn up for this Patriots squad. As he's got Southern Wesleyan up against the ropes for a remainder, or excuse me, a majority of this game. Only here in the second half have the Warriors really found their footing, and that's been in the last about six, seven minutes of this contest. Patriots are set to inbound here after a two-point lay-in by Trenard Farrell. Deion Rollins inbounds it. Shot clock off for the Patriots. They're going to need a quick bucket. Benitez drives aggressively on Dunlap. Cox in the corner for three. And it rims off. Addy comes up with the rebound. And Rollins gets called for the reach-in foul. Foul for the Patriots, number one, Deion Rollins. That'll send DeMarcus Addy to the line for two. Big free throws here for the Warriors. For the Warriors, number 13, DeMarcus Addy. Really needs to hit both of these and sinks the first one. And the second shot hits off the back iron into St. Cyr. Ten seconds to go. They're going to have to get a shot up quick. And he hits the layup. Three point lead for the Warriors. And they'll immediately foul Dunlap in the corner. 3.6 seconds. They won't fix the clock. Time is correct. Nick Silva with a two point lay in there for the Patriots. But I'm afraid it could have taken a little bit too much time off the clock. 3.6 seconds. You have to hope and pray. And Dunlap sinks the first shot. Four-point lead now for the Warriors. Huge free throw by Dunlap. Second one is also good. Watch out. And a bad pass there from Silva, not in the vicinity of Farid St. Cyr. Actually almost took, uh, my friend Cullen and I here took a couple of our computers out almost. But luckily, uh, with my spidey senses, I was able to tap the ball away as the Warriors here will dribble it out. And they will come away with a tight win over the Patriots, 70-65. to 65. Patriots now go 0-2 this season against the Warriors. They'll return back to action on the road against Lees McRae and King this weekend, who they've had a little bit of trouble with in the past, but uh, the Patriots now will exit this game with a five-point loss to Southern Wesleyan, who also... Had a really good game. You have to commemorate Southern Wesleyan for doing so well there in the second half. In the first half, the Patriots really had them against the ropes with the Patriots taking an 11-point lead going into half. Southern Wesleyan coming out of that half real fiery. They came back, ended up extending their lead to about 15 points there in the second half, and then the Patriots started working back and getting that footing once again as the Patriots ended up getting it back down to one point, as we've got a few statistics here on the final. For the Patriots, 17 points from Nick Silva tonight, 17 points, nine rebounds uh, leading the Patriots. Following up behind him is Tion Rollins with 15 points, uh, four steals, and four rebounds as well. Patriots did have a very good game. You have to commemorate them for that, the effort that they put into this match. If you look back at the game they had in December against Southern Wesleyan, 35-78 to loss, this game has really shown you how much the Patriots have gotten better over these past few games. And if you're a Patriots fan, you have to be excited about what the future holds for this squad. That's going to be it here in Florence, South Carolina from the Smith University Center. I'm Alex Wober. 
Thanks for listening to the Patriot Sports Network, and see you next time.